An Oklahoma family actually celebrates their daughter's birthday for another year, but they do so without her. Molly Miller and Colt Haynes have been missing now for nearly two years, long enough that both families fear their loved ones are no longer alive. News 9's Evan Anderson joins us live in the newsroom with more. Evan? And Amanda, there's still so many missing pieces in this case. July 8th will mark two years since Molly Miller and Colt Haynes disappeared in Love County. Molly's family says the more time that passes, the more hope they lose that she will ever be found. Yesterday was her 19th birthday. For Molly Miller's family, this year's birthday was more of a celebration of life. But with few leads and still no new information on where Molly and Colt Haynes may be, the hope for her return has diminished. I think we all had that glimmer of hope that she would come home on her 18th birthday. You know, um, at this point, um, that, that glimmer's gone. Paula Miller says her family wanted this to be a positive gathering. She says at this point they believe Molly was murdered. And she says there's an area where she wants investigators to take a closer look. There's not been a thorough search of his property. Con Nip was the last person to be seen with Miller and Haynes, but has not been charged with their disappearance. Nip was staying with his grandparents at the time, who Paula says live on several acres of land. A thorough search was never done. Nip was arrested for running from police with Miller and Haynes as passengers and is currently serving three separate 10-year prison terms. The hope of getting her back seems slim to none to us, you know. So just for justice to be done to the ones who have done harm to her would be closed. Justice for Molly would be the least the family would hope for at this point. We're still here. We're not going away until we get answers. The family tells us investigators continue to work closely with the OSBI along with a private investigator hired by the family. Live in the newsroom, Evan Anderson, News 9.